Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Southern Racecourse here on Tuesday. It is the 31st of January, 2023. Going to look the fourth race at 6.30 from Southern. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. Let's look at the fourth race at 6.30, which is the Bet UK's ACCA Club 5 Free Bet Handicap. The Class 3 Handicap going for a $20,500 purse race for four-year-old and upwards horses rate 71 to 90. Nine horses are contesting 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the all-weather tapita surface. I'm going to take the eight-horse politics as his top selection. Let's go 861 in your tri-cash trifecta. 861 tri-cash trifecta, top selection eight-horse politics. This uh, five-year-old gentleman by Mohar here, Mick Appleby trains one. Luke Morris gets the leg up. The horse's most recent outing came the 18th of January, which was um, nearly two weeks ago now, um, at Wolverhampton. Seven furlongs and a Class 5 handicap. He was drawn wide, which is not ideal there with that run basically, with the race basically beginning on the first turn. He finished fifth by a length there. He never had the good turn of foot. He never had a comfortable trip, and it just wasn't the day to win. He's stepping up in class, but he gets a lot of weight break from the last race. Only 100, uh, 136 pounds he was carrying last time out, only carrying 120 today. I think that's a good thing for him. He's a course and distance winner, winning here a couple of weeks ago, and I think he's in a better spot to win than he was last time out. Two back, he ran terrifically on the 11th of January at Lingfield. Seven furlongs and a Class 5 handicap, and the horse went by one quarter lengths. You know, he, he stalked, he got the lead with the blinkers on. He was concentrated that day. He quickened up nicely, and he got the job done. A very good race from there. And then right before uh, New Year's at Subtle, six furlongs and a Class 5 handicap stepping up in class that day he finished six by three and a half lengths that day and he was never really comfortable. He never got to the front end, and he just never quickened up. It wasn't the day to win there. But before that, 15th of December here at Southall, six frongs in a class six, all the way down the class ladder. He won by one quarter lengths. He he basically stalked. He got the turn of foot, and he won quite easily. That was a very good race for him there. And then off the bench um, at Wolverhampton, five frongs in a class six handicap, finished second by length. If he had a better post draw, not drawn 11, you know, 11 of 11, he probably would have won, but he was drawn very wide, which cost him. He just couldn't get there late, but he ran his heart out. Back to a six furlong trip, back to Southall where he won in the past. You know, I, I'm going to use him here. I think the six horse, Al Alif Alif is your second likeliest winner uh, for Kevin Stott and, and Phil McEntry. Uh, most recently here uh, on the 26th, which was on Thursday, and a Class 5 handicap. He finished second by length. He was just drawn a little bit wide, but he really stayed the trip well. And then before that, he won on the 21st of January, which was last uh, the Saturday before that, um, in a in a Class 5 handicap of Wolverhampton. Very, very easily victory there. I know he's making his third start in nearly you know, two and a half weeks, but I think he has a good trip and his form's been very good as of recently. I'm going to give him a shot at 6-1 also. But to recap my selections for the fourth, the 6-30 from Southall, let's take the 8-horse politics. Give kudos to the 6-horse. 8-6-1, tri-cash trifecta. 8-6 in your place pod or your quad pod. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 Good luck, everybody.